Are you ready for a massive, I mean massive makeup haul? Then stay tuned. Welcome to your beauty story. My name is Amanda Hall and I am almost 55 years old and I have extremely dry, mature skin, but I love to do glam makeup. I spent two weeks in California. Now, mind you, I live in Alabama and I live in a rural part of Alabama, so it takes a long time to get things. Now, when I travel to other states, I always leave a little extra room in my suitcase so that if I'm in a metropolitan city, I can go into Ulta, into Walmart, into TJ Maxx, into Marshalls, into all the places I love to go, even Sephora, and pick up makeup that's not usually readily available in my local Ulta or my local Walmart since they tend to be a little smaller. So today I want to do a massive massive makeup haul. Now I have Ulta Beauty products in here as well as a bunch of Dollar Tree makeup that I picked up while I was in California. I have a huge Sephora order. Most of it's Sephora collection, but there are a few things I picked up at the Sephora VIB sale. I am a VIB Remember, I'm not rouge because I do not buy a ton of stuff from Sephora. I have one or two things I picked up from TJ Maxx in makeup, and I am just super excited to show you what I got. So let's go. All right, so let's start off. I'm gonna put my glasses on so I can give you color names and all that fun stuff. Let me go ahead and start off with a couple of things that I got from Target. And it was just to, um, random things. I picked up the new Physicians Formula Butter Tinted Lip Conditioner and I got this in the color Pink Paradise. And that's the shade. Let's see here. You can see that. And then I also picked up the Wet n Wild Rich Satin Lipstick in Hush Little Beige. And let's see what the color is on this. Ooh, that's pretty. So Hush Little Beige. That's probably gonna be a your lip butt better. Now, because I have dry skin, I have um, mature lips, I have all the things, wrinkles, everything. And I find that matte lipsticks, if not, if you do not um, prep your lips correctly before, can really dry them out. And I have experienced that even with great lip preparation. Um, so I always tend to lean towards a satin um, or a, obviously a gloss to wear on my lips. I do have a few mattes that I love like the Vinyl Inks um, by Maybelline. I love those and sometimes I pay the price for that um, but I would recommend them extremely highly. So there was my little tiny Target run that I got. So I picked up one product from TJ Maxx. And if you watched makeup videos quite some time ago and you were a fan of Tati Westbrook or you follow celebrity makeup artists, you probably heard of Scott Barnes. He has done JLo's makeup. He has done quite a numerous amount of um, stars and he also has his own makeup line. Now, when I was watching makeup videos probably five years ago, um, Tati, who I follow, had Scott Barnes on her on her um, channel and he had just put out a highlighter palette. And mind you, these were not cheap highlighter palettes. We're talking in, you know, $60, $70 ranges for highlights, for, um, he came out with some blushes. I believe he came out with some eyeshadows. Um, yet, he sells, still sells products online and I, and I follow him and I still follow Tati, but I happen to see his highlighter palette in TJ Maxx and I just couldn't pass it up. Um, it has some of the most beautiful highlighter colors in it. Also colors that could be used for, um, lid shades, everything. So I couldn't pass picking this up. 
Um, one, for nostalgia reasons, and two, just because I wanted to test the formula and see how good it really is. So, was a super excited to find this little steel in um, TJ Maxx. Okay, now let's move on to the Dollar Tree. Now, my local Dollar Trees are not very full of makeup. They maybe have a couple of little things. Um, and so I did find it quite a few things that I can't wait to try out that were $1.25 and uh, be on the lookout for me trying this. And I wanted to share with you, um, those of you who watch. So if you follow your beauty story, you know that I do a lot of uncuts and putting on my makeup and I just show you how I do it. Well, I decided that I want to add some more to that. And what I've decided is that I am gonna do a week's worth of makeup. And I'm gonna film all my makeup applications, that's me trying new products, um, giving you at the end all my reviews of the products that I tried during the week, if they are new products that I've tested. Now, obviously I have a huge massive haul. In the next few weeks, you'll see me using all of these products that I picked up. And so I'm excited to kind of move to this new format. So you can see um, on the days that I wear less makeup, um, I did also take off, have my gal take off my lash extensions. I am into a, um, I'm working into a new phase of exercise and found that they're probably going to be a problem because I'm going to be swimming a lot. And so I will be testing and putting on false lashes, which I have on today. So you'll see this makeup application next week and all the next applications going forward. So I am super excited about this new format. And so now let's move on to some Dollar Tree makeup. Now, my Dollar Tree here in Alabama, they just don't really carry that much makeup, but in California, they sure do. And so let me share with you what I picked up at the Dollar Tree. So first off, I got this um, bronzer. So we're gonna give that a try. Um, I picked up a eyeshadow palette, LA Colors um, Bubble Tea. Of course, if you know me at all, you know I love a great purple eye, so we're gonna be trying that. I got a new lip oil to try. I got a new auto eyeliner. This is actually in a blue color, so I'm excited to kind of give um, a try to some different colors than I'm used to. So I'm excited about that. Then they had this eyeshadow palette, which is, you know, more mauves, more purples. We'll give those a try. They had a really pretty blush that I was excited about giving a try. Then I have a couple more lip products. I have a hydrating lipstick creamy finish in a pretty pink, and this is bright pink, so we'll see how bright pink that is. I picked up a Vaseline Lip Ther Therapy Rosy Lips, and then also I got the B Color Hydrating Lip Gloss with Hyaluronic Acid. So that is my Dollar Tree haul. Uh, I will be trying that during the week, picking up a few things here and there. So we've tackled um, TJ Maxx, Target, and the Dollar Tree. So now let's get into the biggies. Let's get into Ulta and Sephora. So at Ulta, I was able to pick up the new ELF Power Grip Setting Spray. So it is, you have to shake it to mix it up. And then that's what that looks like. So it's a dewy setting spray, which is perfect for a dry skin girly. So I'm excited to give this a try during the week. Then also I picked up the new So Elemental palette from ColourPop from Ulta. Now, most of the time I'll order directly from the ColourPop website, but I happened to be ordering a few other things and saw that it was on their website, so I decided to go ahead and pick it up. So here is the color story. I'll take this off. So it's very blue and icy, and I think for 
if you watched my um, 2024 trends video, I'll put a link up here. Blue eyeshadow and very cool tones were going to be a major trend for 2024. Whether that will continue into 2025, we will see. But I got this, I'll be testing this out um, probably in the next couple weeks because I have a few other palettes that I tried that, I had, that I'd like to give a try. I have a couple of new lip pencils that I wanted to give a try to. This one is the NYX uh, Lip Pencil in Mauve. I have the um, ColourPop Libby Pencil in Bumble. I have the Line Aloud Lip Pencil in Leave a Legacy. And then I also picked up the IRL Filter Finish from Makeup Revolution Lip Definer in Chai Nude. So be on the lookout for those in an upcoming try on. I did get one of the new ColourPop So Juicy um, lips in the color Berry Spritz, which is a little darker in color. And then I also went ahead and picked up another color of the Slick Click Fat Oil which is by NYX and I got the color No Filter Needed. So these are the two lips that I picked up. And then I also picked up the um, new NYX Butter Gloss Bling in this beautiful kind of gl glittery pink. If you've known me or you've watched any of my videos, you know I love bling. I love glitter lips. I love big bold eyeshadow looks. Um, so that's not too out of the realm. We'll see how that actually works. I do have some that I really, really love that, that, that they're glittery and shiny and glossy, but they don't feel it. And then last of all, I picked up another Lift and Snatch uh, brow tint pen, and I got this one in the color Ash Brown, um, trying to go play with my eyebrow color a little bit, so I picked up one of those. So that is my Ulta haul. Now, let's talk all things Sephora. Today is the last day, as this is going up, this is the last day for the Sephora sale. Now, I'm not even sure if this will get up before the sale ends, but I, as a VIB, I was able to get 15% off as well as the Sephora collection was 30% off. All Sephora collection didn't matter what level you were at. So the majority of the things that I picked up were from the Sephora collection because I've heard really good things and I am excited to try them and see if this affordable brand at Sephora is worth um, investing some more stuff into. So I got quite a bit. So let's go through my Sephora haul. Let's start off with the things that are not Sephora collection. So the first thing I picked up, and I couldn't help myself, and um, it is something that I've seen all over, all the beauty influencers that I watch. It's the new Rare Beauty um, Soft Pinch Luminous Powder, and I got it in the color Happy. Now, I love me a good pink blush. In fact, I'm wearing a pink blush today, one of my favorites, Liquid Blushes from Juvia's Placed and Blush Lily. Um, and then I have uh, one of my ColourPop toppers on it. But I, can I tell you just how pretty that is? Oh my goodness, that is just so gorgeous. Now, I am not a normal luxury or buy expensive, you know, uh, anything really. I like to find good affordable makeup and I have found some great ones, but I could not pass this up. It was so pretty. It looks so pretty in the store when I tested it. So um, I'm excited to give this one a try. Now we are moving into our um, spring and summer. And as more importantly, through these times, UV protection underneath your makeup and foundation is so important. So probably over the next couple weeks, I'm going to be trying some different um, sunscreens and see how they play under the different foundations, if they peel, whatever that they are. Um, I picked up this one. I've heard really, really good things about some, and this is actually very affordable. I think it was like $16, which for a high-end brand is pretty affordable. This is their um, daily UV defense sunscreen. It's a SPF 36 and it says that it has no white cast. So I'm excited about giving this a try to see how it works. 
And then I picked up two eyeshadow palettes that I, one, I saw one of my favorite um, celebrity makeup artist, Nikki LaRose. Um, if you've watched any of my videos, I do have her professional makeup brushes. I just love them. I love her tutorials and everything that she does. I'll link her channel below as well. But she had put on this pink, sparkle, gorgeous eye that I was like, oh my goodness, I need that. Little did I know that it was the One Size Beauty Wicked palette. And you can see some of the colors here on the back. Um, she used, I believe it was these, these two colors in this row. It also comes with a blush. And I figured for 15, you know, I will definitely wear, I'll be playing with the greens and the blues. So this was definitely something that was worth me picking up at 15% off. Now I will make this recommendation to you. If you are not a Rouge member, or if you're a VIB, or you're just an insider, and, and even this is what I do most of the time if I'm gonna really think about getting a high-end palette, which is where normally I invest most of my money is in eyeshadow palettes that speak to me, is follow them on their email list because there are times when the sales that they offer or come out with far supersede even what a Rouge member at 20% off would get from Sephora. So my recommendation is that you get on any of the email list of the makeup people that are more luxury or high end, um, that have websites de dedicated to their products um, and get their discounts, which sometimes are much better than Sephora. But I went ahead and picked up this palette. I cannot wait to play with this this week. Um, I'm super excited to recreate that pink look. Um, so be on the lookout for that. And then the last of the not Sephora collection that I picked up was this palette that I've been eyeing. It came out last year. I have been eyeing it ever since. I think it came out in November of last year. And I have just been dying to get a hold of it. And I haven't found anything else on the brand's website that I wanted to order that would make up a difference. So I went ahead and picked up the Pretty Grunge palette from Huda Beauty. This palette, oh, let's go, go ahead and open it up. I just wanna show you. Now, I love a good smoky eye. I am all about glam makeup. Even being in my 50s, I love a glam look. And can I just show you the colors in this palette? Like they are spectacular. Look at that. Oh, I cannot wait to play with that. So this was my other big splurge from the Sephora sale at 15% off since I am a VIB member. Okay, so now we're gonna move into all Sephora collection. Now, I have tried before the Sephora collection um, best skin ever um, foundation. And so I am going to be trying to do a full face of Sephora collection coming up here sometime this week or maybe even next week. Um, but I picked up the Sephora Precious Gemstones eyeshadow palette. And I have seen very good um, reviews of this, of people have, who have picked up this palette um, and who have used it and tried it. Um, of course, it doesn't make it very easy to open. So be on the lookout for this. It is a, um, you know, very neutral mauve uh, color story. I'm excited to give this a try. And then to go along with the foundation, I thought I would give it, this is a new product to Sephora Collection and it is the Best Skin Ever Glow. So this is a hydrating um, concealer for under the eye. I cannot wait to give this a try. I really do enjoy my Sephora um, collection, best skin ever. It's been a while since I've tried it, so I'm looking forward to trying it again, but I remember liking it a lot. Um, then I also picked up, I'm just reaching into my bag of goodies here. Uh, I picked up a couple of eye pencils. Uh, Nikki LaRose, who I talked about earlier about that one size, she 
uses this coconut uh, in her waterline on the lower lash line to kind of open up her eye and brighten her eye. So I picked up the shade Coconut and then also I picked up the shade Black Lace to also use for tight lining now that I do not have my false lashes on um, to help transition in the falsies that I'm wearing. I need some tight lining and so I've heard really great things about this product not only from Nikki LaRose but from several other of the YouTube makeup people that I follow. I also got a um, eyebrow pencil, retractable eyebrow pencil and I believe I got this in ebony. So that's that. I picked up, I believe, let's see, I, this is another um, long lasting eye crayon and I picked it up in the deep brown. Um, Want to see if I can get a nice look with a deep brown instead of a black liner and see how that changes up my looks. And then I got the um, lip pencil in the color dressed to the 90s. And so I thought that would be a nice neutral lip liner. Let's see what other little goodies I have down in here. Okay, so this is the um, eye, eye primer. So Boost and Lock uh, 12 Hour Wear Eye Primer. I love eye primers. I love how they hold on my eyeshadow. I when I put makeup on, I wear it all day long. And so I'm excited to try. This is new to their collection. I'm excited to give this a try and see how it really does hold up. I picked up a lip gloss. Let me see what this, so they, sometimes they make these things so small, you can't even read them. This is their cream lip stain and it is in the color Dare to be Pink. And so I will be giving that a try. And then also new to their collection is, oh, I did pick up the um, Shape, the Shape and Set Clear Brow Gel. I love to hold my brows up in place. I got a couple of holy grails, so we're gonna give this new um, Clear Brow Gel a try. And then I picked up the new Sephora Collection Highlighter and contours. I got the lightest shade of the contour in Fair to Light, but this is just that beautiful, cool color that I love. Um, so I'm excited to play with this. Then I got two colors of the um, highlighters, and this one is in Pink Flash, and this is Rose Quartz. So excited to try those. And then I've seen really good things about the Sephora Matte Blush, and this one is the color Hey, Jealousy. So I'm excited to give this color a try. Then I have just a few other little things in here. I got a few samples, but I've got the contour stick from Sephora Collection. Again, this is in that really cool tone that I just love. So we're going to see how this looks. And this again is in Fair to Light. And then I picked up the Sephora Collection Micro Smooth <laughs> Multitasking Baked Face Powder. Now, I will use this, I will try this underneath my eyes to set my eyes. Now, there is one other thing that I have purchased from Sephora that I use often um, to set my other under eyes and that is the One Size Beauty, their um, ultimate setting powder and I have it in the pink. And you've seen me use this in a couple of videos underneath my eyes, um, but this is the only other uh, luxury product I have that is not an eyeshadow palette because I have tons of eyeshadow palettes that are, are higher end makeup brands. So there is my massive makeup haul. Again, just want to remind you that I am going to be trying out all these products over the next few weeks from everything from Dollar Tree to Ulta, Sephora, all the things I'm going to be trying over the next few weeks. I hope this new format where you get to see every day my makeup looks, how I put them together, what I'm using, and then at the end of the week, really sharing with you my thoughts about how things held up. This will be a great way for you to really see how a product works throughout the day. I will be inserting check-ins, um, 
throughout the day in natural light, showing if makeup is breaking up, if it's looking cakey in places, um, through each day. So I'm excited about this new format that I'll be bringing to you guys. I would love to hear your comments. If you think this new format is going to be something that you're interested in, the videos might be a little bit longer, um, but I'm excited for what's to come. So that is it for my haul. I am so thankful that you have taken the time to look at all the new things that I picked up when I was in California, and I can't wait to play with this all. It was so hard not to use these things while I was in California um, because I just love makeup and playing with makeup, but I'm excited to bring this all to you and show you all these new things and show you how they work on mature, very dry skin. Now remember, you get to choose every day to dress with purpose. Mm -hmm.